Hi Bamton fans and welcome to test number 724. This is the Kampu Power Control Nano 9U, the super, super light, lightweight racket. So who are we and what do we do? We test Bamton equipment like strings, shuttlecocks, shoes and of course lots of rackets over 750 in actual fact rackets tested on our site in the, and in great detail detail like you've never seen before if you go to our website and go onto the year zone you can sign in and see all this information for free you can also advertise your club for free and you can also advertise any forthcoming tournaments for free we do ask of you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our website, press the like button, and if you can afford it, please do donate whatever you can so we can keep our work going forward. Thank you. We sell this racket at uh, 80 pounds. You know, we sell it worldwide, hard to get hold of. Otherwise, there may be some few people here and there that sell it, but there aren't many websites that sell it. So we're the primary people to sell this racket. In terms of the manufacturer specs on this racket, 9U super lightweight racket. I mean, it's crazy how light this racket is. Uh, all of these rackets, like the Apex Featherweight XS, super head heavy balance because they didn't have the balance there. You would not get any repulsion from these rackets. And generally, the, the shaft of these lightweight rackets is stiffer and they need to be because there's so little weight. It's very easy to flex. The racket just flexes quite easily if they don't make it a little bit stiffer. Grip size, it says here G5. Correct, yeah, G5. Maximum string tension, 30 pounds, which is not bad at all. Same as the Featherweight XS. I know the video we said 38 pounds, but actually manufacturer has corrected us for the Featherweight XS. It's 30 pounds too. And this racket is made in China. The <coughs> E-Zone specs on this racket switch pages always a million things open here so it scores really high this scored really high in the e-zone testing uh the wacky the racket weight 64 grams now that is without a grip but in fairness if you go to the e-zone and you type in and you just toggle the racket weight and i've got mine toggling between 55 and 85 grams press filter and then press racket weight you get the list of the rackets by weight now at the top of that 63.6 grams is the featherweight excess which we reviewed very very recently and second in line to that is this 64 grams is what it weighed both the excess and this racket both come without a grip now the interesting thing is the next one up is significantly heavier at 79.2 grams and it is the leaning windstorm 72 and the recently reviewed j nice elastic air 73 they're the next in line and then we go into a bras and other rackets from there Right, back to the ESO sex spec. So as I was saying, 64 grams without a grip though, super, super light, very head heavy, balance at 343, that's significantly pointing towards the head and a very stiff shaft, very, very stiff shaft. But however, it doesn't feel that stiff when you're playing with it, but we'll come to that in a minute. Now, in terms of design, it's well executed. It's a simple design. It's a matte black uh, base with a purple and blue uh, stickers applied, all applied really, really well. The only part we don't like is when manufacturers put these stickers on the rackets. I don't know if you can see that from there, but they put stickers on the rackets to tell us the specs and the stickers always start coming off. So it's always better if it's printed onto the cone, but anyway, that, that's the only thing I'd say that I don't particularly like about it. Now, before we show you the design of this racket, we should tell you that they did make a 10U version last year, and it did not do well. Great, great racket to play with, but you could not string it because it kept breaking at the top. This racket has shown so far to be a lot more resilient, and we've had zero feedback of issues with the frame, so don't be fearful if you're looking to buy it. Here's, a, here's some quick clips of the design so you can get a good idea for yourself. Now, 
Now in the E zone, the, the lighter rockets do do very well because there is a section where we uh, rate their power, which is rated as a smash power versus their weight and also their, their speed uh, versus their weight. And that's a scoring section of the E zone. Obviously these lightweight high performance rackets, the Elastic Air 73 by J Nice, the Featherweight X by Apex and this Kampu 9U all scored extremely high because considering their weight, they do let off enough power so you can imagine to play this racket it feels light it doesn't feel crazy stiff it feels medium stiff but it feels crazy fast in the air crazy crazy fast its key strengths this racket uh, are where you would expect it to have massive strength it's extremely capable in the drive situation shots coming at you flat and fast you're going to reach the shot and you're going to direct it in whichever direction you want and you're gonna get a reasonable amount of ping because you're so far behind the shoal, you can actually get really good bang, 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 bang off it where the heavier rackets, they're getting back slower and they're coming forward slower. This has that massive advantage. It's like a cheetah, it's quick. Defensively again, smash comes where you may not have reached it. You'll reach it and as long as you're getting movement, you're going to get the flick to the back of the court. You're gonna get the drive as you would expect it to. Where it, it is not as effective as you may be hoping is in the overhead shots it does take a lot of effort to get these overhead shots going you do need to put a lot of effort into clear you do need to put a lot of effort in to get smash power out of it although it does have very good smash power you do need to put a fair bit of effort in to get it to smash so while we're going to show the smash as a negative don't be misguided it can smash but it just takes a little bit of effort to do so. So where does this leave us? Well, A, if you like heavy, head heavy, stiff rackets, clearly this is not gonna work for you. You must be a lightweight fan. As a beginner, the reason that we're hesitant on recommending lightweight rackets to beginners is normally they, beginners as players are developing still and they're not able to get airspeed because their techniques are still developing. So airspeed is something they don't have. And therefore, if, it's, if you have slow airspeed, a heavier racket is why coaches often recommend heavier rackets for, for beginners. I don't think a, a new Beginner is going to work very well with this racket. However, intermediate players and advanced players, certainly you, it would work okay with. Professional players, I think it's too light. Singles, it's a thumbs down for singles. You cannot use this racket for singles because the essential stuff that we need for singles like control, like smash and like overhead shots, it simply is too hard compared to the uh, competition. For doubles, however, provided you're willing to be patient and wait a few sessions just to get your timing right with this racket, it can deliver a good smash. It has a bonkers defense and bonkers drive ability. So the only thing you're gonna have to put more effort into is the clears. Outside of that, it can do really good job for doubles. So doubles, it's the thumbs up. Singles, it's not. Intermediate to advanced players would be able to benefit from this racket, but you would need to have a game that's varied and not just smash based uh, and not just about always about clearing. So I think it's, it's a good racket. It's scored really highly, uh, but you should take a look at those scores in the uh, section where it has repulsion defense drive overhead because that really reflects how it's going to feel to use you can go to the e-zone to see the smash and maneuver shot you can go to the e-zone to advertise your club for free for your tournaments for free um, remember if you are going to the e-zone then please do advertise your clubs uh, there uh, and your tournaments there. We want to get Bampton on its feet in 2021. We don't get anything out of you doing that, but it is a free of charge service and it will promote your club and your tournaments. And we really do feel responsible for helping the Bampton community to get back up on its feet after a disastrous 2020 for Bampton worldwide. So do your part, please, and do advertise your clubs and join the E-Zone. It's all going to help the Bampton community. If you're going to the E-Zone, don't forget, Use a desktop, use a laptop to view the site. Do not try to use it on a mobile. You can, I know in Asian countries it's the most popular thing. We are gonna look at developing an app, the Badminton Racket Review app, which will make it easier to view on a, lap, uh, on a mobile phone. But right now there's so much info to fit into a mobile app. It's a nightmare to make it work properly. The site is responsive, but nevertheless, 
a desktop or laptop will serve you better. The eZone was set up for you guys. The uh, Bam Jaraki View team is here to serve the Bamton community. You, the viewer, right now are part of the Bamton community. So do your part. Do subscribe, do share, do like. Uh, thank you so much for the love. It really does mean a lot to us. It makes us keep, it keeps us going. You know, the support and love we, re we receive is amazing. Thank you so much for that. And we will see you on the next video.